Whenever there's an upcoming solar eclipse, you can guarantee a number of things are gonna happen. The media is gonna talk about the dangers of the eclipse, and they're gonna make people more scared of the event than excited. People are gonna post some pretty ridiculous and outright ignorant stuff about the eclipse. Fake eclipse photos are going to flood your social media timeline. And eclipse classes are gonna be the hottest new thing, selling out faster than toilet paper during the pandemic. Now, I'd love to make a video on each one of those points, but we're here to talk about the gear you need to make sure you have an enjoyable eclipse experience. In this video, I'm gonna be going over some equipment you should be considering to have an enjoyable and amazing and safe solar eclipse viewing experience. Also, quick shout out to Stargazer, the clothing brand who makes clothes for people who are up when the sun is down. They make these hats and this super awesome Carpe Noctum t-shirt here. They have lots of other cool stuff. Make sure to check them out at wearstargazer.com. Before we get into this though, I do have to talk about eclipse viewing safety. Now, I don't wanna spread fear like the media does, but we do have to talk about this. So fear is really just a lack of understanding. And if you can understand something, you can prepare for it. And if you're prepared for it, then you can go and enjoy one of the most spectacular celestial events without being scared. Since I was a little kid, I've been told not to stare at the sun. And for good reason. Staring at the sun without proper eye protection can cause serious irreversible damage, including blindness. To avoid this, use ISO compliant solar filters like the ones we'll be talking about in this video. That number is the ISO 12312-2 or ISO 12312-2 semicolon 2015. If it has those numbers, you know that it's ISO compliant. You can find more information about ISO compliance and safety in the link in the description below. What makes ISO compliant equipment so special is that it reduces the amount of harmful sunlight to safe levels so you can view safely with your eyes. Now the sun shines about a half a million times brighter than a full moon and that's just in visible light. The sun also emits in the infrared and ultraviolet spectrum as well, which are also harmful to your eyes. And that's why we need these solar filters and solar glasses and all that stuff to make sure that we don't hurt our eyes from the sunlight that we can see and we can't see. Now, the solar glasses and filters that we use to keep us safe are actually a thousand times darker than ordinary sunglasses. Now that you're armed with this info, you've got nothing to fear because you're prepared. So now let's get into the different types of equipment you can get to enjoy a total or annular or really any solar eclipse. The first item of business to discuss is the solar glasses. These are the things that you're gonna see all the time when a solar eclipse is happening. They have two different types. There's the paper solar eclipse glasses. And again, these ones are the most common ones that you're gonna see. And then there's the plastic type, the ones that actually look like, well, sunglasses. Despite their low cost and interesting fashion statement, they work really, really well and they get the job done. Since they sit on your head like regular glasses, they free your hands up so you don't have to be holding anything. You can just look up and enjoy the view. And putting on a pair of these bad boys is more than just a form of safety. It's a fashion statement. A lot of people who have used the paper eclipse glasses have complained that they don't form fit really well around a lot of people's heads and they're a bit flimsy. And so if that's something you're worried about, you can upgrade to the next level, which is the plastic solar eclipse glasses or the ones that look like sunglasses. These are like the cooler older brothers of the paper glasses. And sure, they may run up mom's credit card, but your style points go way up when you're rocking these bad boys. These types of solar glasses are really, really nice because they fit really well around your head. They're very comfortable. And again, it has the same benefits of using the paper eclipse glasses just they look way cooler and they feel better wearing. So if you don't mind the price difference between the paper ones and the plastic ones, go for the gold. Upgrade and get the plastic ones. Trust me, they're actually really, really nice to wear. I really enjoy these kinds of Eclipse glasses. Moving on from the Eclipse glasses, we're gonna be talking about some stuff that actually magnifies or zooms in on the sun. Now this can give you an amazing up close and personal experience that will blow your mind during a total solar eclipse or an annular eclipse. But one thing to keep in mind is now that we're magnifying or zooming in on the sun, we have a higher probability of 
damaging your eyes if you use the wrong equipment. So just make sure when you buy something, you're getting it from a reputable seller. So I used to work in the telescope industry for a number of years, and I've tried out all different types of solar viewing equipment. And these ones that I'm gonna be listing, I've tried myself and I can guarantee you are gonna give you an awesome experience when viewing a solar eclipse. All right, let's get into some of this equipment. So the first one I wanna talk about is solar eclipse binoculars. That's right, you can get binoculars that actually have built-in solar eclipse filters. And what this is gonna do is give you a magnified or zoomed in view of the sun. So instead of just looking at the sun with your eyes through the solar glasses, you can get a closer up view of the sun, which means you can actually start to make out more of those sunspots that appear on the sun. Solar eclipse binoculars are really easy to use and a lot of them are really lightweight too. And of course you can get ones with varying magnification. The lightweight ones are gonna be the ones with smaller magnification, but you can hold them for longer. The ones with more magnification are typically gonna be heavier, so you might get a bit fatigued using them for long periods of time, but sometimes that's worth it. There are solar filters you can get for binoculars if you already own them. So the filters actually go over the front part of your binoculars. But again, you have to be really careful with these and you have to make sure that they get locked down tight because if they get knocked off while you're looking at the sun, you're gonna have a bad day and probably have a, a bad rest of your life because of that. But just make sure that doesn't happen. Now, if you own a telescope, you can actually get a solar filter for your telescope. All you have to do is find the right size filter that goes over the very front of your telescope. There's different types of filters that can give you different colors. There's orange ones or white light ones, but whatever the case, if you wanna get super, super zoomed in on the sun and really see those sunspot details and get more magnification than you could get with say the binoculars, a solar filter for a telescope is gonna be incredible. One of the benefits of this too is that you don't need to wait for a solar eclipse to use your solar filter. You can literally look at the sun at any time. You don't need to wait. You can just throw it on there and go outside any sunny day. And the cool part about that is that the sunspots are always changing. The sun is active. And so it's gonna be different every single day you look at it. Now, I know I said you can buy the solar filter that fits over your particular telescope, uh, but another less expensive alternative is to actually make your own solar filter. And this is totally safe to do. And there's tons of videos out there uh, showing you how to build it, but I'm just gonna give you the info about it. You can find those videos online. Uh, search them on Google or YouTube. What you do is you just buy a big sheet of Mylar film. And this is the solar film. And what you're gonna do is just put that over the front of your telescope and it's gonna fit over the front of your telescope and you just have to make sure it's on there and secure. And that's a perfectly safe way to view the sun. The last piece of equipment I wanted to talk about in terms of getting more magnification on the sun is probably the coolest one and also the most expensive. So if you're the Monopoly man and you've got bags of money lying around, you gotta pick yourself up one of these. I'm talking about Hydrogen Alpha dedicated solar telescopes. These things will give you the coolest views of the sun. You'll see the granulation on the surface in high detail. You can see the prominences shooting off with great detail as well. And the sunspots are gonna look incredible. And of course, since it's a telescope, you get really high magnified zoomed in views. What makes the Hydrogen Alpha dedicated solar telescopes different than say a regular solar filter over your telescope or the binoculars or the sunglasses is that it isolates a specific wavelength called hydrogen alpha that's very prominently emitted from the sun. And in this particular wavelength, that's where you get these insane, incredible details like the granulation on the sun. Two of the popular manufacturers, Lunt Solar Systems and Coronado, make incredible hydrogen alpha solar telescopes. And again, they give you amazing views of the sun. Now these are really only made for looking at the sun. So unlike the solar filter you get for your telescope, you can't just take off the H alpha filter on these things. These are dedicated solar telescopes only made 
for looking at the sun. So you can't use it to look at other things like uh, the moon or stuff like that. And there's a few things I wanna touch on that I feel like everybody forgets, uh, including myself. I actually forgot some of these last few things that I'm about to talk about at the most recent annular eclipse that I went and photographed. The first few are some of the bare essentials, a chair, some snacks, and water. I mean, you're gonna be out there for a while. An eclipse event from start to end takes quite a while, takes a couple hours. So you're gonna be out there under the sun. You wanna make sure that you're comfortable. Another thing that's easily overlooked is sunscreen. I mean, you're viewing the sun for a long period of time. You're gonna be standing out, obviously in a place where it's sunny out. So you wanna protect your skin. So make sure you get some of that sunscreen on you. And something that's not totally essential, but you might want is like a pop-up tent or something to give you some shade, or at the very least, make sure you bring a hat. There's lots of equipment out there that can help you enjoy an eclipse. And there's plenty that I didn't get to, but I can guarantee you that the ones that I've listed here will give you an incredible viewing experience for any type of eclipse. The most important thing that I want to reiterate is that you get equipment that is certified safe. So if you have that, then you're good to go. So I hope you have an incredible eclipse experience. Make sure you see it. Make sure you get in that path of totality. And I hope you have clear skies. Thanks for watching.